All right, so what we talked about in the last video was uh, the opposite way to build an add-on instruction, and that's really to build it with the logic first, and to do that and to actually fully test it to make sure it works, right? Now, um, this is obviously you know a little bit more time consuming, but you can take any logic you want to and actually you know have this working, right? And have in, and basically transition this to an add-on instruction of your own. But you, but the testing part is is the most important part because you need to make sure that it's working, right? So this is obviously a sealed system. So so what we're going to do is we're going to come in and, and add our logic real quick. But it's obviously a sealed system, and what I mean by that is it's a system that's you know you have to actually if you're going to edit the add-on instruction, you're going to have to add it. At, you know you have to go offline and edit it, and then download again. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to build it right now. We're just simply going to throw a couple things in here, and I'm going to build some simple logic out really fast, uh, just to kind of show you, you know, how, how you know this uh, this simple illustration should be. Now, what this is going to do in this is we're going to do it. We're going to actually do a simple trainer traffic light control. Okay, nothing fancy, just something that's very easy to interpret, uh, very easy to you know keep track of and know. Um, we'll actually do this now <clears throat> we're gonna actually just go through and just build this logic out and we're gonna just put all of our, our stuff in here that we need now me personally what I like to do is like to kinda build everything first and uh, come in here and kinda add a foundation so that's what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna come in here and add like a little foundation in here so I'm gonna copy this and then paste it again so that would be that one and then we want to come in here and add a, the next one which would be then coming in here doing this and then coming in here doing I think this right here <clears throat> okay so this is what we're going to do right here this is going to be the first light so this is what we're going to call this uh, I'll call this light one and we'll call this this is going to be the green Right, so this you're obviously going to have green, yellow, and then red. Right, so on a normal traffic light system, you, you know you would have your green for your your unable to go, for the person to be able to drive, and then you would have the yellow for them to slow down and be cautious, and the stop they cannot you know they cannot proceed. So that's the same thing we're doing here. That's why we're going to do this as like a real world example, it's really simple. Right, so we're going to take that that very same thing and just copy it down here and then paste it right here keep it really like streamlined right so this is going to be yellow and this is going to be red right so this would be red alright so now these are just the good controls we're going to see exactly you know how this stuff is done now we're going to add our timers in here and our timer is really going to be uh, just at like a free running timer that we're going to actually uh, reset uh, in a different manner. We're not going to reset it like just normally like not using it. <clears throat> and I'll show you this in just a second, right? And what we're going to try to do too as we're doing this is we're going to try to keep the video, uh, you know, basically to a, a good time limit you know about 10 10 12 minutes something like that so that we keep we keep the uh you know i know how it is going through trainings and stuff like that we want to keep the attentiveness and everything so i'm going to try to keep this as as streamlined as possible so first we want to build the logic right that's what we're doing we're adding our timers we're coming in here and we're adding everything okay so um now the reset we're, we're going to do this is going to be a reset for this very first one up here and this we'll call this this is going to be T1 uh, reset okay so now we have our bit and we have this and then we're going to drag this over here and then we're going to come in and add this over here this over here we don't actually need this one I do want to have this one is done <clears throat> so that way we control so our automatically our green light is going to come on and then when our green light is done 
based upon a timer and we'll put this as like 10 seconds and we'll put this as like three seconds something like that and then we'll have this um, you know actually cut these lights on so we're not going to monitor this bit we're going to monitor this bit and then obviously the yellow when the yellow is done it will cut on the red now similar to this we're going to copy these two paste them down here just like this and we're going to change this to uh, this is going to be an LT2 this is going to be an LT2 this is going to be an LT2 so what I'm going to do here is quickly change those and then we'll just come up here and create right keep it streamlined easy quick efficient and just that way it's uh it's not so much typing and it's not so much uh you know you having to watch me do all this stuff and, and the point of it is too is it's good to see somebody programming don't get me wrong but i know for a fact um i've been through it myself and i know for a fact how it is so you know as we're going through this we'll go ahead so no we need to change these let me change this to here okay so this gets this and we want to have our red right now we also too want to have another statement in here where we're going to basically use a one shot so this one shot is going to basically come in here and do our reset so this would be the reset for uh, the second um, this would be the reset for both of these resets down here and I'll show you this in just just a second right so we, that, this is where all this kind of comes into play but we'll call this uh, light one complete so and we'll one shot that right so that way we have that captured and this would be again let's call this LT2 reset that way we got that done so what we're doing is this is going to be our reset to reset into the next sequence and, and reset really kind of everything right um, and we'll, what we'll do is we'll copy this paste this in here so we don't really need we're, we're going to use two of these other rungs but I want to keep it as simple as possible and let's see do this do this do this keep this here throw this here so that's done and we're going to change this to LT2 and change this to a reset LT1 okay so this would be so assemble that create that now we want to have our presets in here too right so we want to have some preset logic in here as well and I want to actually there's a there's a slight problem and I'll show you this but there's a slight problem with the way this thing starts up so we're going to come back and address that but I want to actually show it to you first so uh, what we'll do is we'll do some moves and one, two three four and then we'll come down here and get these so we'll come down here and get the presets for these um, and actually let's, let's take this back okay take this back and then what we'll do is drag this over here drag this over here changes from a one to a zero or, one, or two to a one changes to a two to a one and then we'll put the presets in here so we'll call this uh, call this uh, light one green preset kind of keep it we'll keep it just like that right and then we'll build that and then we'll do the same thing here this would be light this would be yellow yellow it's kind of a different one to abbreviate but we'll do that looks good and then paste this in here this would be number two and this put the number two in there okay so we're getting our presets in here and the reason for the presets 
so much as to transfer stuff in and out. But we, we don't necessarily need them right now, but we will use those inside the actual AOI that we're building. So um, when it comes into it, first we want to verify the logic, and then we'll come back and actually do this um, more in depth. We'll, we'll fix this problem th too, right? As you're going to see, I'm going to show you this problem statement. So as we do the testing in here, you'll see the problem statement that we're going to have. But this is the reason you build the logic, because obviously this is, this is where it kind of comes in play. All right, so uh, the timers, we need to come in here and do the presets. We need to select the presets. So select the presets. And for each one of these, we'll select the presets. Okay, so we got that. We're coming in here getting this. this. So let's go ahead and throw our times in here as well. Being that these will get overwritten, right? So we want to make sure we put our times in here. And we'll do that. And then we'll do a quick test for this video and show you how it works. And then we'll come back, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly uh, come over here and then go to here. We're going to download. This is an actual L7 processor that we're using. So we're going to download this and show how this works, right? Show this actual scanning and running. But we didn't put our JSR in here too. So we're going to come back in here and put our JSR in there as well. We can do that when we're online. So it's not a big deal. So this won't actually scan right off, but this is good because I, I want you to see this, this first set of problem that we have. Right now, nothing's on, right? So nothing's on. And what I'm going to show you is this JSR. When we put it in, you're going to see that both lights, okay, so the green and the green here are on. Okay, so this is only going to happen on the initial start, okay? So the initial start, after the initial start, after it goes through the first sequence, it will actually fix itself and then it will come back and start running as it's supposed to, right? So now it's in the green, it'll go yellow, and then after yellow for three seconds, it'll go red. Now it'll come down here and the green will come on here, which I did not see the green come on down here. Uh, so let's actually see, oh, let me see, I have, uh, what did I do here? What did I do here? I'm not resetting this. So we did we forgot to put the reset in here. Okay, so that's a good thing. This is the again the good reason why we're testing. Alright, so we didn't put the reset for this. So we need to put the reset in here. Paste this in here and we'll call this LT2. And then we'll reset this. So we didn't, we didn't put our reset in there for that. Okay, so that's gonna reset. Okay, so, but it's a one shot, so we need to actually one shot it. So let's, let's do this. Let's go back in here and let's go to here, program mode, and let's see if that fixes our issue. That, that way it'll give us another one shot. So just in case you ever get, in, get to that issue, right? So now it should actually flow and should work properly. And while we're coming through this, so now we're in green and we're in red. Okay. All right, so let's make sure this logic works. Yellow, red, green. And this should be yellow next. This should stay red. Okay. This is yellow, this is red. So this is red, this is green. So we're, everything is working properly now. And showing this um, obviously is you know, pretty simple as far as you know, like I say, it's just two separate lights on two separate parts of a, you know, uh, like a, again, the, the traffic signals of, of a, a light intersection, right? So you would have, when one's green, the other one would be red. Obviously, you don't want people running into each other. You don't want people driving into each other. So you have one uh, on and the other one off on two different lights, right? 
So that's why I have light one and light two, and we're just simply resetting those as it goes. Now the presets down here and stuff like that will show you how that works in the very next one. But again, this, um, and two, fixing that initial sequence, that initial first scan sequence, right? So let's go back and uh, on the very next video, we're going to take this logic and really quickly make this into an add-on instruction. All right, so let's go ahead and see on that one.